Hey everybody, Shane here from Salt Tide Angler. It's been a while, I know. I haven't posted anything in quite some time. Um, I did a lot of fishing last year. I got out and met some great people. Um, took a lot of video, but editing, eh, I'm still, still getting used to editing and it takes a while. So I think I'm gonna put a compilation together of everything I have footage wise from last year. Um, I threw some pictures in, you'll see coming up. Um, this video is a, uh, I, I built a kayak rack at a PVC for my kayak back there. Um, this is a little step-by-step, -step, sort of, uh, I just pretty much covering what I was doing, pieces I was using, my ideas, and how it all came to fruition. Um, any questions, uh, what I did, sizes for, for the pipe, um, you know, learn from my mistakes, because I made a few, uh, but otherwise, um, Enjoy the video and remember, stay fishing. Hey, what's going on, Vibe Tribe? Salt Tide Anglers. So, I've been working on my kayak. Well, I've been working on a roof rack for my kayak. Um, doing a PVC roof rack mount. Um, two inch PVC down my Thule crossbars. I had gotten a, a Thule roll on roller type setup. It didn't really work out too well because the, uh, the underside grooves in the kayak just got caught up on it. So I ended up doing two inch PVC mounted to my Thule crossbars. Um, the front has a cap on it. I'm gonna use some Gorilla Tape over top of the holes uh, that I had to drill to get down in there to mount it and mount it through. Um, um, I'm gonna leave the back end open because I know water's gonna get in there. So I just wanted that, that to be able to drain out the back. Um, and I did a little paint job. First time spray painting. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, while I had the spray paint, I uh, spray painted my rod holder. Um, so, yep, rod holder, spray painted. I think it turned out pretty good. Kind of matches the color scheme, you know? Not perfect, but hey, I don't uh, ever claim to be an artist. Um, then, out of the back of the the, the, the PV, two inch PVC that I mounted to my crossbars that the kayak's actually gonna sit on um, within the grooves that are underneath, the, uh, the, the slots underneath where the scupper holes run. Um, I'm gonna take these two. I still have to attach the, the cross piece for support, but this is going to slide into the two inch PVC. I have to cut a groove in the bottom to a lot for the the bolt that I have mounting the the, the two inch PVC to my Thule roof rack, so I have to I have to slice a groove in there. That's why they're kind of so long because figuring if I slice a groove in, it's going to mess with the integrity of it. Um, so figuring the more I have to to uh, reinforce that, uh, well, hopefully it reinforces that. Um, Gonna paint the ends, but ideally this will slide in all the way up to here. Um, I've got a couple of these. I'm gonna drill some holes through the side. They'll go in, cotter pin on the end. It will hold it in the in position, and then I can pull this pin out, slide it out to the out position. And ideally, what I'm gonna end up with is enough room to clear my back hatch because up to this point I've been putting the bow up on the side of my truck or up on this actual rear hatch right here with like a sleeping bag or a thick pad you know putting the bow up here and then lifting the stern and sliding it forward um, I've gotten some scratches in here and uh, one mishap and I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose this oh yeah vibe life <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna lose this rear hatch. It's gonna blow out if I if I have a mishap and drop it on that. So, 
The idea is they will slide into these two. They will slide forward. I will put the pin in. I'll be able to raise the hatch to some degree. The kayak sticking out the back still can't raise it all the way. But um, for mounting and taking it off, I'll be able to take and slot, pull the pin, slide that contraption back so that it actually clears my hatch, comes back further, sits back a little bit further. I may have to put some, um, some support pieces here because I know it's going to flex downward. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of it. I'm going to plug and play, see how it works. Slide this back, put the nose up onto that, slide it forward. Um, I went with this because I got the Lowrance hook to seven with the triple shot. And the side scan is amazing. I love it. Um, but with that, the transducer has to actually drop below the hull. So on here, this transducer, let's see if we can see, and the mount, yep, that didn't work out. The mount actually protrudes about two inches below the hull. Normally I could slide it right on. I need room for that. That's where the two inch PVC pipe and the rails of the actual kayak underneath should slide on and I shouldn't have any issue. So I don't know, still got a little bit to do, I'm losing daylight, but eh, weather's beautiful. I'm gonna be out here doing this. I had to cut the grass in between, <laughs> so be it. Um, <clears throat> I'll get back to you. I'll show you the finished product once everything's said and done. All right, so <clears throat> part two, I got a little bit more done. I had to cut cut it short last night. I, uh, I messed up. I cut the groove in the um, in the kayak loading part. I cut it on the wrong side. <laughs> Oops. Um, so back to the hardware store this morning. Picked up another inch and a half piece of PVC. Um, Cut the cut the right side this time, mocked it all up, and then marked it. Then went to went to uh, gluing it, and I found I had another problem with the uh, clearance across the roof. My roof isn't flat, obviously. So what I should have done is raised the whole thing up on some risers, give me a little bit more clearance space underneath, and I wouldn't have had a problem. But I'm pressed for time. We're heading on vacation next week, so. Um, I had, to, I had to get this done. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll come back and I'll redo the piece in the middle and raise it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is what we ended up with. Ended up with, as I had showed you, the two inch that'll fit in the rails underneath of the kayak. We'll slide on with that. And then this is the extension I've got pins here in the out holding it in the out position pop those pins it slides all the way in flush here with the end it sits up on top you can see here right where I had to had to etch this out cut this just because it just wasn't fitting so next video I do I'm gonna uh, actually load this thing up and see how it goes so all right well that's it for right now talking to y'all salt tide anglers vibe tribe represent and uh jig the bay great company all right all right so i got her set up this is usually how i load but instead of putting it up on this glass i have this back here now trial one let's see how it works Definitely holds the weight pretty good. I would normally have it up a little bit higher even. Tracks line up well. Nice resistance. Good. 
take it. My lovely assistant was helping me. So the tracks line up well. On there pretty nice. I know I brought them out a little far, but I want to be able to slide it further forward. Like so. Maybe even more. There we go. Check this. It is resting on that. It's resting on the uh, transducer mount a little bit. But I can go further forward. Now that's over the transducer mount. Still plenty of support. stable on there and then what I did and pull these pins Ugh. and this will slide in pins back in I have little cotter pins to retain these in here pins back in Keep that from coming out. There you have it. Now, the hatch still won't be able to lift up all the way, but got a lot more clearance under there than I did before. So, there you have it. Success. Hit some bumps along the way, but uh, you know, little mods, little tweaks here and there. Um, anybody wants any info on this, any, any questions about what I did, if they're thinking about doing the same thing, just uh, send me a message. Be glad to help. So that was, uh, it was good to go. All right, Vibe Tribe, Salt Cloud Anglers. Mission accomplished. We're ready for vacation. Buddy Kane, it's been a long time. We're running up the bay a little bit. 